Good morning, everyone. I'm Timothy Reed. Welcome to the Washburn Weekly Webcast. Correction from last week. Amnesty International will be selling goodies during all three lunches except Thursday for a dollar apiece. Help support a great cause. Find us in the athletics hallway. The end of the school year is fast approaching. <laughs> Time is running out to get your ALC slash credit recovery work turned in for credit. Seniors, the deadline is May 18th because your grades are due earlier than everyone else's. Freshmen through juniors, your deadline is May 25th, so come to room 201 after school Monday through Thursday. We've got snacks. We have had a new incoming group of Washburn staff babies born this year. The Baby Millers and the future class of 2035 includes... Hi, I'm Miko and I'm with Student Council and I'm here with Naomi to talk about our international project which we'll be working with Hope for the Deaf. Hope for the Deaf School is a school in Monrovia, Liberia which I was able to visit when I was about 12 years old. This school provides education for kids who are unfortunate to be able to get school supplies for themselves because their families have left them due to either the Civil War or the Ebola crisis. The drive will start on Monday, April 24th and will continue for two weeks. The boxes will be located right in front of the main office and you can find a list there of supplies that you can donate. Some things you can help bring is notebooks, pencils, paper, pretty much anything for school because they're really in need. Prom is coming up. It will be Saturday, May 6th, and the ticket price is $55 per person. Tickets will be sold from Monday, April 24th to Friday, May 5th during lunch only. And since prom is soon, we have prepared another special segment introducing Washburn's most eligible prom dates. Let's go. I can't believe it myself. Suddenly I'm up on top of the world. It should have been some. I'm one. You might remember me from the Valentine's Day episode. No one want to kick it with Mr. Saku. So I'm still here. So I'm still here. Well, you could uh, get a pizza, maybe from Toppers, and then in pepperoni, write out prom question mark. And then she'll be like, oh, whoa, like yes, and then you'll both have pizza together. Okay, I think the best way to ask a girl to prom is with a handwritten letter delivered by mail. Yeah, I'll have to wait a few days uh, for her to get the letter, but it'll be worth it just as long as she doesn't find another prom date before then. Before prom, I might take my girl to CK or McDonald's, might pick up some Takis. Or we go to McDonald's, she getting a two for three, but you know she paying that three dollars. You got to keep it real. Come on, baby. Okay, I think a good pre-prom prom meal would be Brother's Pasta Bar where I work. I wash dishes there, so maybe while I'm working, they could eat dinner and I can wash their dishes. Probably take her to Perkins, something like that. Yeah, that mall shop not too far down. Mall shop. Um, for me, I would say Hibachi place. That would be a cool, cool place to go to. It's cool because they chop the food up and do some tricks, make it fun. And they can make um, you know, when they put the fried rice, they can make it hot. That would be cool. And then, you know. <laughs> if I had to choose a place to go, it would definitely be Benihana because uh, it's one of my favorite spots to go to. And uh, But if, if me and her were going though, you know what I'm saying, I'd be like, you know, to the chef to hold on, step aside real quick, you know, let me get my little chopper chopper on. You feel what I'm saying? Whipping it, you know what I'm saying? I got a preem suit. <laughs> How much is it worth? I don't know, preem down to my chest though. James behind tux, bro. 
James Bond, you gotta enter the room rolling. Some, you know, regular dress pants. I don't know what color, but if you're weird, highlight green or something. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this another interview? Maybe. I mean, it's all natural, just the way your swag is, how you walk, how you talk, it's, it's all that, that's all it is. Yeah, I'm going to pick up my girl in a 2001 Honda Odyssey. The doors are automatic on the sides, you already know. And uh, once I pick her up, it's going to be on my bike, she's going to ride in the back, with, uh, my pegs, we're going to go to a nice restaurant. In my car. It's a 1994 Volvo 940 in perfect condition except for the brakes. My brakes are old and loud, so she'll hear me coming from around the block. My man's Alex. Shout out to Alex. He's doing a big pulling up in that helicopter thing. Shout you out. The helicopter? Yes, sir. I mean, I got somebody in mind, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't think she's going to go with me. What? That's being real. Uh. I don't know, we don't know each other too much, you know what I'm saying, but um, she's, she's a nice girl. I don't know, what's Macy's last name? <laughs> I'm Bramiah Holly. I'm new to Washburn. My mom told me that if I don't get a date, then she's not buying my prom dress, so I need a date. Alright dudes, help me out. Once this is on Friday's webcast, I will uh, have a date, hopefully to prom with this girl named Solveig Quant. Uh, I've asked a few people and so far they said no, but I'll ask some more people. What up girls, man, you already know I'm single, ready to mingle, I need a prom date. Um, somebody hit my line or something, you know what I'm saying? You already know what? me. Huh? You what? Um, you, boy, I know you, he is not single. He ain't going to prom with nobody, nobody. Mm. I do have someone special in mind. I'm hoping to ask. She's a, uh, she's quite pretty. Her eyes are beautiful, especially when they're not looking at her phone. We've been, we've been working together. We've been in class all year. I just don't know how to ask her. I'm really nervous. I just hope somehow she'll figure out the message. Yes, my name is Fabian. There, can I end this? <laughs>